Hello there, welcome to my third tutorial on animating humans and placing them in games. And this is also my second game maker tutorial for actually adding 3D animations to games, which... So it's kind of like a double tutorial. So, the first, you need about three, four things for this. First thing you need is, you need your animation. So just go on to the EGF animator, open your file, and just get human that walks. Just check it's working well. So, there we go, he's walking fine. So here we go, that's, that's our uh, animation. So, just to get the code, click on the play tab, click get animation code, type in something like um, animation code, and then click your stretch code, and just put stretch code. You can name that anything, I just, I'm just calling it that, because I'm going to delete them soon. Okay, next thing you need is a 3D engine. Here is my simple 3D engine that I made in my previous tutorial. And all it is is just a floor in a 3D world with a camera that can rotate around it. And we'll be using that as our starting point. The third thing you need is the extension. So if you just click this plus, the green plus tab uh, at the top, you'll see that mine says EGF 3D Animator. Now, you're going to have to download that. I'll show you how to download and install it on a different video. But all you have to do is click this blue arrow after you select it, and it places it in the used packages area. That means you're using it and you just click OK and then when you create a new object or you just edit an object you'll see there's a EGF Anim tab here it's got some uh, squares it says structure, keyframe and uh, animations so we've just made an old object and if you didn't do that make a new object by pressing the blue ball at the top and we're just going to name this animation and click add event create that's all you need to do now in the create event see the right hand side the left hand side sorry the left hand side top one in the structure when you hover your mouse over it it says start structure bring that in it says bones well that's the amount of bones that you were using to create that's the amount of bones that your animation has. So ours has 21. So we'll just type 21. So it starts tr structure with 21 bones. Now, there's nothing significant about that now at the moment. So we're just going to go into keyframes. So there's only one keyframe thing at the moment. So start keyframes. So we place that in. It says keyframes. Well, we've got nine keyframes. So it starts keyframes with 9. Now we need our code. So wherever you saved it before, I'm just going to find mine. Okay, this is where I've saved it. I just click on my animation code, open it with Notepad. I presume that you can open it with other things. I just find Notepads easier. Select it all by Control A or File or Edit. Select it all. Then you just copy it and we'll just close it down go to control it's a control tab go on the code execute code and just paste all of that in and at the top spring at the top you might want to just write in with two flashes next to it animation code I mean you don't have to do that that just helps. And we'll do the same for the structure. So, structure code. Open it with, again with pad. 
and copy it all, close that down, get some more code, and paste. I'm just going to put right structure at the top, like two slashes, structure code. There we go. I'm just going to move the structure code just in between the starting structure and the keyframes, starting the keyframes. Um, I just prefer to see it like that. I don't think that you have to do it like that. And then if you just drag in another piece of code, you can put whatever code you want. So I'm just going to, oh, well, you can put your normal code. So I'm just going to put x equals 0, y equals 0, z equals 20. And I'm just going to put direction, direction, okay, let's spell that for a second, equals 0. So, we've got our direction, our x, y, and z. Now that's all we need for our creation event. Now let's go on to our draw event. Draw event is very easy. All you need to do is go onto your EGF animation tab. See what it says, structure. We use the left hand one. This time we're going to use the right hand one. It says draw structure when you hover over it. We'll just put that in. That's all you need for your draw. Now this next one is for step. In the step event, we're going to make it play the animation but only w when it's told to. So all we need to do is get this right hand box, drag that in, and therefore when it's told to play an animation it will play it smoothly. Okay, so you can also add in any code you want here. So I'm just going to put extra equals x, y struct equals y, and z struct equals z. Now, you need these, because these are x struct, y struct, and z struct are actually the position of where your structure is. And so I'm just making them equal x, y, z, which we've already said is 0, 0, 20. And just before we test it, we'll have have a keyboard. Letters. I'm gonna make it W. Go to the EGF anim tab, and then the left hand one under animation. It says start animation. So we just drag that in, and it says start animation. Now before we actually start the animation, we need to make sure it's smooth. So just go to the control tab, see where it says var in the octagon, bring that up above the start animation, so if e equal to zero. So we're just going to put if play, so variable play, and value false. This just means that when you start the animation it will play it through, whether if you don't have that it will just keep at the first frame until you lift up, until you stop pressing the W key and it will complete the animation. So let's just see what we've got so far.